so that would be helping most of the people who have joined directly from the live sessions to understand what how we deal with terraform and how what best features does terraform providing us right so um, i'll directly hop into the uh, the today's sessions uh, today's session that would be our terraform workspace uh, before starting that i'll be introducing a bit about me so uh, myself deepak gupta so being a devops enthusiast i wear multiple hats uh, be it a devops engineer be it a trainer or a blogger as well recently if i talk about my active open source contribution so i have done a bit of con uh, contribution to terraform modules for our uh, different providers um, docker images and helm charts as well which is to be considered as a package manager for kubernetes yeah so um, before starting i'll be discussing so what would be the agenda for our today session so we'll be discussing that why terraform workspace what was the purpose behind using terraform workspace moving forward we'll be discussing what is terraform workspace uh, after that uh, we'll be discussing that what all workspace commands do you use to play with the functionality of terraform workspace and after that i'll be giving a quick demo that how can you uh, retract or how can you interact with that so yeah i'll, I'll take a generic example in the basic uh, functionality uh, the people who basically are using terraform right now uh, in their it infrastructure or it could be for the new people as well who will be going to start working on terraform uh, to manage and to f uh, feel flexible while provisioning the infrastructure so i'll i'll take a basic example that since uh, when we talk about creation or provisioning resources onto a cloud cloud provider we uh, mostly most of the resources which we manage with terraform don't include unique name as part of their configuration right so uh, we use terraform configuration to pro uh, provision multiple groups of similar resources um, we with you with the use of same Terra, uh, terraform configuration file we uh, we provision multiple groups of similar resources uh, so behind the scenes what terraform relies on is the state file right so terraform relies on a state to associate those resources which you are creating with the real world objects but uh, taking an example that if sometimes um, you want to change the variable values for different different resource collections uh, for example as a slide shows that it could be uh, consideration of your multiple environments it could be your dev environment it could be your queue environment or the prod environment so i'll take a basic example that if uh, if we are using the different va variable values it could be like your ec2 instance type yeah uh, over here i'm talking about in terms of aws cloud provider so uh, it could be your compute engine type that uh, for dev environment or queue environment it could be t2 medium or t2 small or t2 large or if i talk to, if i am talking about the production environment it could be a c5a 4x large or a c5a x large type of category so um, what could be the simplest way um, to maintain multiple instances configuration with completely separate state data state file data right so in my approach or what i used to do was that uh, behind uh, previously before getting introduced to terraform workspace what i used to do is that i used to create multiple directories right however uh, uh, multiple directories for the different environments be it for dev or qa or prod and in that i'm initializing my terraform so but however what i consider it is is that it's not a convenient way to handle separate states so if i uh, talk about how it could be or what is the drawback behind that so if i'm saying that i'm maintaining multiple directories for all my all of my environments i would be installing a separate cache of plugins and modules for each directory or for each environment directory right so maintaining those multiple directories can waste uh, my bandwidth i can say it would be wasting my um, disk space as well and if i talk about when we are managing uh, as mehul al already discussed that we can manage easily at the version control system of our terraform code so uh, over there as well we will be maintaining multiple repositories for our different environments so it would be a bit tedious task for all of us so how does then terraform helps in this and what functionality does terraform providing us so that is the terraform workspace so basically we have um, over here in this session we will be discussing today terraform cli workspace we have other workspace as well that is called as a terraform cloud workspace but this session would be focusing basically on terraform cli workspace so basically workspace allow allows you to use same working copy of configuration so if you are saying i am present in the uh, the one directory and over there you have your multiple ter terraform configuration files so you can use those configuration files for your multiple environment in which a workspace would be helping you to keep your separate state for each of your environment right working on the same co configuration of terraforms and keeping your separate state files so for your each of the resources of your different environment so that's the basic 
uh, idea for terraform workspace functionality so even in the slides which we have mentioned it's a present uh, it's correctly stated that in terraform cli workspaces are separate instances of state that can be used from same working directory so basically what a workspace allows us to allows us is to use the same configuration but having separate states backend for each workspace be it your dev qa or the prod one and a noted point which could, which is considered to be important as well that terraform always have a workspace name default and it can't be deleted so whenever i'm initializing i'm creating my uh, my terraform directory in which i'm making my configuration files of terraform so in that whenever i initialize first of all my terraform it would be creating a default workspace and that the workspace couldn't be deleted so the workspace which i'll be the user would be creating additionally those workspace can be deleted but the default one can't be and for a given directory only workspace can be only one workspace can be selected at a time so when you are working with that workspace only one workspace can work in a single directory so that's the basic idea about terraform workspace workspaces over here i have just listed up a, a snapshot of the the one which i created so it shows that whenever we start working with terraform workspaces and we start initializing or start provisioning our infrastructure for our different environments so it will be create using the same configurations of your terraform files it will be just creating a different directory structure that would be called as terraform.tfstate.d in which your environment your the workspaces which you have created for your different environment will be created and their state file would be deployed to these directories specifically so what it is helping in it is helping in preventing the contamination of state files of your workspaces of your different environments so this is the basic idea if i talk about the terraform workspace commands so basically these five commands are the basic ones which we use in the general life so basically the terraform workspace show it's list out the present workspace in which we are working if we talk about the terraform workspace list it would be listing out the total workspaces which we have created uh with the default one as well terraform workspace new helps you out to create a new workspace and switch it into a new uh, and directly switch into that workspace which you have created terraform workspace select if you want to switch to another workspace then it would be helping you out and terraform workspace delete it would be helping you out to delete the workspaces which you have which user has created and keeping in that keeping that in mind that default workspace cannot be deleted right so i think i think you can um, relate these um, these commands with with one of our tool that is also version control system so uh, when you are working with git you use git checkout hyphen b and giving a branch name so that's also helps us out to switch to the branch which we have named and created the new one similarly over here as well terraform workspace new is helping us out to creating the new workspace and switching it to directly into that one so yeah now it's a quick demo i'll, I'll be showing that how we can deal with uh, the terraform workspaces over here you can see that i have created some of the resource the terraform configuration files right so i have a aws cloud provider as i already mentioned before so that's my provider.tf if i talk about security groups.tf so security groups i have created uh, which would be going to be attached to my compute engines so one is your ssh uh, security group and one would be the web security group if i talk about the uh, ec2 the the in which i'll be creating my compute engine so that's the basic one uh, so it would be creating with the help of variables which i have provided the values if you talk about this argument this uh, meta argument the terraform workspace so basically it's helping you out to pick the workspace name over here so in whichever workspace you are working on you will be provisioning your infrastructure it would be picking that workspace name so over here as well if you and basically we will be using this terraform workspace argument as a tagging on the tagging basis so if i talk about similarly in the ec2 con in the ec2 tf file i have used it for the name and if i talk about the security groups so i have uh, used same as well for the name tagging convention All right and even i have defined a condition over here that says that if your terraform workspace is uh, default then you have to create two instances otherwise for uh, non default workspaces you will be creating one compute instance then after that that's my variable dot tf uh, in which i have provided my region my instance type uh, and my uh, ami id for my instance and i have multiple default um, my tf dot, dot tf was files as well it could it would you know, one is the default one uh, and one would be the dev one and one would be the prod one and that's uh, simply indicates that i'll be creating two different workspaces one would be the dev one and another would one would be the prod one 
So over here, I can see that I have my you know, Terraform installed, CLI installed. If I start with TI, the Terraform, uh, I have created uh, short aliases for that, for those big commands. So TI basically would be initializing my backend. Uh, that would be basically installing the provider CLI configurations and the plugins and the modules for it. Right now, if, okay, once this, these backend is initialized, I'll list out, yeah. After that, I'll list you out that in which workspace I'm working right now. So this is the list uh, command which I have used and it's showing that star over here. That means that I'm right now, I'm in the default workspace. And if I talk about show, that as well will uh, tell us that in which workspace you are right now, you are working. So if I say Terraform plan, and you can directly go with war file, which I have created, that would be a default one. So it will be um, giving me a blueprint that what all resources I'm creating over here directly, right? And uh, if you remember that in, in the configuration file, we mentioned that if uh, I'm working in the default workspace, it would be creating two compute engines. So over here we can see, so over in the final, we can see that uh, it has four to add. So four resources, uh, two would be the, um, your compute engines and two would be your security groups. If I directly go with uh, TA, that would be your Terraform apply uh, with the help of this uh, TFOS file. So basically these resources would be created in my default workspace. And if I go to my management console, you will be able to see that the tagging convention, which I have mentioned uh, with the help of Terraform workspace attribute, it will be listing out on those basis. So if you can, so I, I, I'll, I'll say that people can comment it out that uh, what name it could be. If I show you that my name for the for my compute engines would be vm hyphen terraform dot workspace hyphen count index. So what could be the name for the, the compute which would be created or which would be provisioned after this Terraform apply. So you can see that uh, when I mentioned that in default workspace, there will be two compute engines would be created. So see, you can see it, VM default one, VM default zero, two compute engines has been created, right? And my public IPs has been listed out over here. I can directly copy the copy this and can web surf through it as well. So basically what I have done is I have installed the Apache server as well on these compute engines, it which will help me out Okay, so basically my document is giving an HTTPS error. Okay, moving forward, what we can do is we can now start seeing that uh, my Terraform state file has been created in this local path. But what about when I have to work with the same configuration for different workspaces? What I'll do is I'll, I'll go with Terraform workspace new and I'll give the name as dev. Okay, and you directly, if you see Terraform workspace Hey, uh, Deepak, if you're uh, planning for long demo, so the time is up, but no, uh, you can wrap up in few. It would be ending in a minute. Sure, no problem. So you can see that uh, you are right now in the Terraform dev workspace. Okay. And if you see the one that, uh, if you see then when we created a new workspace, your directory is created. So if I go for the tree command, So you can see a dev directory is created of my workspace. And when I apply now, <clears throat> with the, the dev.tfos, then it would be creating the resources for my development workspace. And that helps me out to prevent that contamination of the state files. And that is the most useful case of workspaces, which is given by Terraform. So uh, till the time the resources are created, I'll, I'll show you that uh, even I have created similarly the lab as well for this. So the people who are watching and viewing this, I have even mentioned the links of this labs in the PPT as well. So people can go through the slides and can visit to this link. So basically I have mentioned each and every step that, and even the TF files of my code I have mentioned over here and the each and every step which has to be performed to play with workspaces. Okay. Awesome. And you can see if I, 
give a quick refresh, you can see that my VM dev resources has also started created. And if I go with tree again, Terraform D file, then you can see my in my dev environment, my state file has been created. So it prevents in contamination of the Terraform state files. So yep, that's a pretty quick knowledge sharing about Terraform Workspace. I hope you people like it and get the evaluated idea that how can you can implement this Terraform Workspace into your IT infrastructure environments.